Art quilters rarely only work with fabric and thread. Pastels, trims, beads, and crystals extend the design possibilities. I'm here to share with you three techniques that will add innovation to your works of art. My guess is that your eyes initially focused on the sunset portion of my landscape quilt. The batik fabric for the background is ideal for the general sky and water. The sunset had to be created. The solution? Wax oil pastels. Here's how to add extra details with these great products. Test the pastels on a scrap of fabric. Color in the areas where you'd like highlights or blending of colors. I often like to use several colors to blend together. Oranges, yellows, and even white for blending is what I used on the sunset. Since the art quilts aren't going to be laundered, the wax pastels will remain in the fabric. I know that you'll enjoy the creativity that's available by adding accents with pastels. Next, accent your art quilts with just a glisten of light or add total sparkle with crystals. This art quilt featuring a super-sized spider wart has a glisten around the blooms and buds, giving a hint of dew. Adding subtle reflections or glistening flashes of light are all accomplished with the same steps. Using the Hot Fix applicator wand and fusible crystals, select the colors that you'd like to use in your art quilt, and then add the tip to the Hot Fix applicator that coincides with the size of the crystals. Then you can place the crystals right on your quilted piece, positioning them right where you'd like them. It's very simple. Simply depress for about 10 seconds or so, holding the crystal down. The applicator will heat and fuse the crystal in place, and presto, an accent has been added that adds sparkle and a little shine. Quick bias trim can add sophistication and detail to your next artistic design. As you can see, I like to use quick bias as an inner border. Rather than trying to cut out and press fourth of an inch or eighth of an inch bias strips, use the ready-made fusible strips from Clover. I add the quick bias after squaring and quilting my design. This sample is just showing the quick bias added on the design itself. You can work with fourth of an inch or eighth of an inch quick bias. Both have fusible backing that you remove the paper, and you can also choose different colors too. Align a ruler with your edge of your fabric, edge of your quilt. I'm going to have the border two inches from the edge of my quilt and align the quick bias next to the ruler. Using a mini iron, then you can press to get this perfectly square. The fusible only holds it in position. Now it's time to do the stitching. Here's a close-up of using a double needle to stitch the quick bias into place. Within minutes, you have the extra detail of the bias to your quilt. It adds great dimension and design to your art quilt.